Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 2616. Minimize the maximum difference of pairs. And we are planning to host a workshop on binary search. And if you are someone who is interested in that, please do consider joining our telegram group where I will be sharing the information. And I have mentioned the telegram link in the description. So let's dive into the problem. In this problem, we are given an array and we are given P. This is the number of pairs. So in this problem, we have to pick up two pairs. Let's pick up two pairs which have the minimum difference. Which are the two pairs that have the minimum difference? That is 1 comma 1 and we'll be picking 2 comma 3. Once we have picked this, what is the difference of this? 0. What is the difference of this? Now, we have to return the maximum of these two. The maximum of these two will be 1. So 1 will be our answer. Now, what if P was equal to 3. Then in that case, there was only one pair left that is 10 and 7. So 10 comma 7. What will be the difference? The difference is 3 in this case and our answer would be equal to 3. Right. So now let's take one more example that is 4, 2, 1, 2. In this case, we will not pick up 1, 2, but we will just pick up 2, 2. So if we have picked up 2, 2, what will be the answer? The answer will be just equal to 0. We just are picking one pair and the difference equals 0 between those pair. Now if you look here, the first thing that comes to all of our mind is we have to pick up adjacent elements for them to have the minimum difference. Why are we picking adjacent elements to have the minimum difference? Let's look at it. Say suppose 1, 2, 3, 4. Why adjacent? See the difference between these two elements and the difference between these two elements, definitely the difference between the adjacent elements is always lesser. Why? Because the differences will go on increasing, right? So that is the idea. The first thing that we have to do is sort the given array. That is the first step that we have to do. Now, what after we have sorted the array? Let's take the first example. One, one. Let's take the first example that had one, one and it had 2, 3, 7, 10. 2, 3, 7 and 10. Now what we have done here is we have just sorted the given array and it is given that we have to pick up two pairs. Now let's pick up two pair. 1 and 2. Now our answer will be equal to 1. But is it difficult to pick up pairs, right? We understand from this example that is 1, double, 2, 4. 1, 2, 2, 4. If we just pick up one pair, we'll be picking up this pair and the answer will be 1, which is not correct and it will be leading us to a wrong answer. Right? So now, this is not what we have to do. So we have to look the answer from a different perspective. What is that? Let's find out. Okay? Let's assume that. Let's assume that we have to find P pairs with a difference of 0 with a difference of 0 now we have to find two pairs from this where the difference is equal to 0 now how many pairs can we pick up from this we can just pick up one which have a difference of 0 right so we were not able to pick up two pairs now let's go to difference of 1 now we have to pick up all the pairs which have a difference of 1 or lesser than 1 so in this case we will be able to pick up two pairs which are those two pairs we will be picking up this pair and we will also be picking up this pair so our answer will be 1 so what are we doing here is we are fixing a difference we are fixing a difference and we are varying that difference from 0 to n say what is n i will come to that point but we will vary from 0 to n and we want to pick up at least p pairs having this difference or lesser than this difference let's take one more example for this 1 3 5 6 8 and 10 and for example we have to pick up again here p is equal to two pairs now let's have a difference of zero how many pairs we will get here we'll get absolutely zero pairs so we are not satisfied now let's increase the difference to one Will we be able to get one pair with a difference one? Yes, we are able to get one pair, right? Now, can we get two now? So one pair, which is not satisfied. Now we have to increase the difference. Can we get two pairs? Yes, one pair. Then we are getting two pairs. So yes, we are able to get diff is equal to two. So we are using a 
linear search on this we are keeping a difference and we are doing a linear search but how do we find out the number of pairs if there are number of pairs or not let me come to that point but before that we are doing a linear search on this difference right that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on but if you look here do we have to do all of that for example let's pick up a random difference 3 if we are picking up 3 do we have to do 5 and 4 see for this difference we got the required number of pairs if we have got the required number of pairs is there a need to do 4 and 5 no right because we have already got the minimum difference then why do we have to do 4 and 5 similarly on the other hand 0 1 2 3 4 5 we picked up a random number that is 2 let's assume we picked up a random number and if you are able to do with this 2 do we have to check for 0 and 1 no right if you are not able to do with just 2 we, we should never check 0 and 1 because for 2 is also checking for differences less than or equal to 2 if it is not possible with 2 it will never be possible with 0 and 1 so that is the core idea of this binary search what we will be doing instead of searching all of the search space we will pick up a random element and that random element will be the middle element once we have pick up picked up the middle element what we will be doing we will check if it is possible to get p pairs or not if it is possible we will eliminate the right half if it is not possible we will eliminate the left half including that particular number let's take the same example and let's look at one one two three seven ten the first thing is we have to sort it okay so once we have sorted this now what is our range what is our range l is equal to zero why because definitely we want to hit the difference equal to zero that is our goal but what is the right value the right is the maximum difference that is 10 minus 1 right this is the maximum difference any pair can have so this will be our range now l r let's have a mid value and if it is possible or not to get p pairs that is two pairs let's write it here so how do we check if it is possible or not let me come to that point but before let's assume there is a magical function which will give you this okay now l is equal to 0 r is equal to 9 and our mid will be equal to 4 now let's check if for the difference 4 it is possible or not yes right we can get two pairs which have a difference of 4 so it is possible if it is possible which thing are we eliminating we are eliminating all the numbers from 5 to 9 so our new left will be equal to 5 and sorry our new left will be equal to 0 and our r will be equal to whatever was the mid we will check to that mid we are doing that now what will be the new mid our new mid will be equal to 2 now for a difference of 2 again are we able to get yes right so it is still possible so again 0 2 and now what is the mid 1 with one difference is it possible yes if it is possible with one our now range get reduced to 1 1 and now it will be 0 with 0 is it possible no it will not be possible to get now our range get reduced to 1 comma 1 and our mid will also be equal to 1 and yes we are able to get the number of pairs finally we need not even check this condition why because that is the only number left and finally we will be returning the L right so that will be our answer now let's dive into the other part where we have to check the magical function let's take up this pair 1 1 2 3 7 10 1 1 2 3 7 10 all we have to do is we have to start from this element and we have to check if the difference between this element and the previous element if it is lesser than diff if it is less than or equal to the difference say we have a difference of 2 is the difference between this element and this element lesser than 2 if it is yes then we will increase the count increase the count so we have at least one pair now then also we have to increase the index to this we should not increase to this why because it will still consider this pair remember we have to increase to this pair so once we are increased to this pair and again it will check the difference between previous elements if it is there it will increase the count if it is not there it will just go to the next element so we will have the entire count of the number of pairs right so finally this will be the help algorithm this will be our magical function we have i and we have count and i we will iterate i from 0 to the length of the array 
and we'll check the difference between this element and the previous element if it is lesser than diff we'll increase both i and count so that i will increase by two indexes and finally we will return the count and this can be optimized here that is if this count is greater than p we need not go further we can stop the count here this optimization can be done here finally from the main function what we are doing we are first sorting the array and then we are keeping our range l is equal to 0 and r is equal to the maximum diff that we can have and at every step we are calculating the mid and we are calling the helper function if it satisfies we will change the r value if it does not satisfy we will change the mid value and finally we will be returning the mid and there are few similar problems and we'll be discussing these problems in our telegram group and i have mentioned the link in the description do consider joining the telegram groups these are medium level problems and this is a hard level problems thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe